All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 90. All right. So now it's time for another for loop. We're going to use the for loop to iterate through the input containers array. Inside the loop, we're going to set the inner HTML property of the element at the current index to an empty string. And this will clear all of the contents of that input container. All right. So I've recently gotten some comments uh, saying that for loops are still a little bit confusing. So we'll go over for loops again uh, on this one. So let's just start out by making the for loop. We'll say for let i equals zero, while i is less than uh, input container. Where am I? Input containers dot length. So we got this dot length. We'll say I plus plus. Okay. And so we're going to get input containers at I. And I'm going to show you what all this is in just a second. Is going to equal an empty string. But this isn't the answer. It's actually going to be input containers dot inner HTML. But this right here right now uh, helps us out. It helps me show you what's going on. So first things first, let's put a console.log input containers inside of this thing, all right? And then let's run clear form, clear form like that. And so we've got this going on right now, right? So basically, let's go over what this is. So we're starting at index i. That's what the at index zero. That's what the i stands for here. Sometimes it stands for iterator. Sometimes it stands for item. Sometimes it stands for anything that's i and it has to do with this, right? But in this case, it's index. So it starts at index zero, all right? And that's what happens. We're saying input containers at zero. That's what it is at first, all right? And while and we're going to run this thing. We're going to do this while i is less than input containers dot length. Let's do while we're at it. Let's do a console dot log console dot log input containers dot length. All right. Boink, just like that. So it's five. OK, so one, two, three, four, five elements in here. So element zero, one, two, three, four. So four is less than five. When we, once we get to once I is four, it's going to be less than five. But when I is five, it's not less than five. I is not less than five. So it stops. OK, so when we go to I. So first, it's going to be I while this is happening. And then it's going to do I plus plus. It's going to add I. It's going to add one to the I after we take care of this. OK, hopefully that makes sense. So this is the first iteration. It changes it from. Uh, Hold on, let's also do this. Let's also do this while we're at it. Com copy that, drop it here, and let's make this just input containers, right? So you see it's like, it looks like this before we put the for loop on it. So this is the first iteration. It goes through the first time and it turns this into an empty string, right? Then it comes back through because I is still less than five because I is now equal to one on this one. I is now equal to one. So index one. So it changes it to an empty string. Now I is two index two. Here's index two. It changes it. index three changes it. index four changes it. index five. It doesn't do anything. It just breaks out of the thing because five is not less than five. Hopefully that makes sense. This is exactly this is 100 percent exactly what the computer is doing right now when it's running this thing. OK, uh, I mean, let me put some spaces in between this stuff just in case, just so you can see exactly what's going on. OK, so one more time, it does this, it logs it. All right. This is the log. It, this is the console.log after changing this. All right. Before we change it. Before we change it, it looks like this. OK, let's get rid of this. Before we change it, it looks like this, right? Before the change, after the change, before the change, after the change, before the change, after the change, before the change, after the change. OK, hopefully. I mean, I don't know how, <laughs> how else to say this. Also, this isn't the right answer, uh, but that's just that all right there is just to visualize it. Well, the answer actually is going to be dot inner HTML. That's what they're looking for, because if we do this right now, nope. We got to do dot 
inner HTML, all right? And when we do a console.log, console.log input containers, now it's, it still looks like this, okay? So uh, it is what it is. I'm just letting you know that's, that is what's going on with the for loop in case you were uh, a little bit confused, right? So this is how this go. This is the answer right here. Let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 91. And we'll see you next time.